Welcome to Truckin' Tuesday. Check it out. We have a brand new release. Johnny Lightning Gone Fishing. Release one. And yes, thank you very much, Eric. I appreciate you taking care of this for me. This is from Johnny Lightning. Brand new series or set. It's part of the, uh, um, I shouldn't say it's part, but you know, diecast uh, manufacturers right now, they're coming out with, um, they're like two packs. Uh-oh, got my address right there. We'll, we'll open up the bottom. Um, they're coming up like with uh, trucks and trailers types offerings. And this is going to be Johnny Lightnings. Right now, it's only going to be available at Hobby Stores or Hobby Lobby. You'll have to find your favorite uh, hobby people. Let me get this out here. Make sure. Nope, nope, nope. You can't see. Sorry. So let's go ahead and check it out. Um, cases are the same. Case A, case B. Okay, yes, there is two. There are two different um, colorations. Let's go ahead and crack, crack open the case. Let's go ahead and open up the A case. Um, as I said, hobby dealers or hobby lobby, lobby, I do not have uh, pricing information at this time. I generally do not... Um, you know, do reviews of items that are store exclusives because, you know, I would like to have a uh, partnership with the retailer as well. But in this case, uh, I hope that Johnny Lightning is able to get these into more stores. And so if uh, Hobby Lobby sells them well, then you'll be able to find them at other stores as well. Limited edition, one of 2,004 pieces. That's it, only a couple thousand pieces. Uh, does it have the name of the truck? Here we go. 2002 Chevrolet Silverado truck with boat and trailer. Very nice packaging. Uh, it has a peg hook at the top. And look, it sits on the shelf as well. I'll open them up in a moment. We're just going to take a look at the packaging. First time I've seen them, right out of the package. It looks like the uh, caption, captain's chair swivels. We'll check that out. I wonder if the uh, motor can be turned left and right as if you're steering as well. Let's have a look at the back. You can pause that if you want to check it out. Probably should zoom in so you can see it a little better. So three different releases. Got a Vista Cruiser. Oh, I'm going to like that. Chevrolet truck. And we just looked at the Silverado. By the way, there are going to be white lightnings in the set so we're going to look for some type of white features as you can see these two are the same there's the vista 1964 oldsmobile vista cruiser with boat and trailer a different kind of boat again i'll be opening up uh, one of each in just a moment there you can see the colors are the same. So neither one is a chase piece. Oh, white. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably, it's probably, I, I'm guessing that this is normal. We'll find out right now when we see the other one. Here is the 1965 Chevrolet truck with boat and trailer. And is this the same as the other one? No. Nope. You can see that the, uh, the framing is different. Oh, it's a longer boat, too. Looks like it's longer. Let's see what we have for the other one. Yeah, you can see it's white. It's the same. Now, let's go ahead and open up the uh, B case. Should be alternate colors if it's a typical Johnny Lightning fashion. Or I should say, it is under the Johnny Lightning branding, by the way, Johnny Lightning. Round two, they have uh, different brands. They got. <clears throat> Racing Champions Mint. They have uh, Auto World. So these are being under the uh, Johnny Lightning branding. And th they all look the same. I see red, red, white, white, brown, brown. Mm, does not look like we'll get a, a white lightning. Hey, nice weathered appearance for this one here. Looking good. The 1965 Chevrolet truck. 
Uh, I'm not sure which one. It's nice to have uh, two different options. Ah, look at the boat. Look at the boat. There you go. It's the same. Trucking Tuesday, by the way, it's my weekly feature on Tuesday to show anything with trucks. Well, that's not a truck. But that's why I'm showing this today, because you have a, it's basically a truck. And since these come in the case, you get to see these too. And the last pair. Look, under, look how they did that right there. <laughs> that's, that's very cool. I like it. And uh, no chase. All right, let me crack them open. Number one was the Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. I'm going to open up that one first. By the way, there's a little plastic piece in there. You got to make sure you don't lose that. I don't know if it's attached to the frame or not, but that's the uh, jack stand for the trailer. I know with another brand, sometimes it's easy to lose that little part. So uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of aware of it now. Let's see what we have here. There's our cruiser. There's our boat. Oh, that part is attached. It looks like. Does it look like it's attached? Yeah, it looks like it's. Uh, it looks like it's snapped on right there. So. Make sure when you open up your package, you don't uh, snap this part off or any part of this frame. This is, uh, you know, it's kind of a uh, frail. You want to be careful when you open these up. Let me take a look at the Vista Cruiser first. Rubber tires, detailed metal base, chrome inserts. You can see the details around the windows. As far as it being a Vista Cruiser, look, they have the plastic part right here. Uh, it's a Vista, so you can see out the top. Very nice. This is this is definitely a cool piece for me to own. I like this. Let's go ahead and open the hood. I can see it looks like it opens up. There you go. Detailed engine. It's a black piece. The interior is black. I'm not sure if it's a separate piece. It is with uh, other releases from round two. There's your headlights. And no license plate. There's the hook for the bolt. There you go. There's the trailer. By the way, rubber tires on the car. The trailer has plastic tires. And let's take a look at the boat. I'm not. Uh, I'm not familiar with. Uh, this is uh, clearly a fishing boat, right? Gone fishing. It's the name of the series. And like I said, Hobby Lobby is who will be carrying these. And I believe they're slated for three releases. And this is release one. And of course, you have A and B colors. So if they do well at Hobby Lobby, then Johnny Lighting will try to get them into other retailers. Obviously, they're trying to get them in now. But it kind of is depending on how well they sell at Hobby Lobby, whether uh, other retailers will pick them up. Um, if this is a certain type of boat or if it's a generic, post in the comments, let everybody know. Separate piece for the uh, steering wheel. And I was going to look at something else. Oh, let me see if it's metal or plastic. Hang on. Okay, the base of the boat is metal, and this part right here is plastic on the inside. Of course, this is a plastic and then chrome plastic for that right there. There is number one in the set. Oh, look, it has holes, in, and you can put it right there. There you go. This way it'll hang on. The packaging indicates it's for ages six and up, and that's basically for the small parts, I'm sure. So this really isn't a toy, but you know, <laughs> we like playing with our toys too. So I wanted to check it out to see how it drives. And I like how the hitch stays attached very well. Now let's get number two. That was the 1965 Chevrolet truck with boat and trailer, of course. 2017 series release one. By the way, uh, their numbering system got a little confusing. So now they're going to go by years. 2017. I'll explain more on my next Johnny Lightning case unboxing video. It got a little, uh, got a little confusing for me when I did the Auto World unboxing. 
and they, they explained that I was not alone. I was not the only person confused. So they decided to go to uh, a yearly type of numerating system. I love the weathered look on it. On the side it says bite and tackle, not bait and tackle, tackle. It says uh, Tony's or Tiny's bite and tackle. Very witty. So I do like the weathered look as I stated. Let's see, does it have an opening hood? Yeah, it sure does. When I look at this casting, by the way, uh, the, the term Apache comes to mind. Um, is this an Apache truck? I, sh I could look it up, but if you would help me out and uh, let me know, that'd be great. It does have uh, the badging in the front, Chevrolet going across the front. Uh, no, no license plate again. Love these big <laughs> rubber tires. I'm a big fan of uh, rubber tires with a lot of meat. Makes sense for this type of release, right? Now, if you got like a, uh, if you have an import, you're not going to want like these big tires. There's the tail hook. There's the rear. No license plate again, right there. Take a look at the bed. Remember that piece. Remember, don't lose this piece right here. There you go. This way, you can park it on its own. Like that. Or snap it onto the trailer. I should have waited, actually. Uh, I don't know if the trailer was the same. I'll compare when I get to the end. I don't know if the trailer was the same as the other one. And here's a look at the boat. Multiple levels. I like how it has a multiple uh, two-tone color. So it gives it, uh, you know, you're buying an adult collectible, right? So you want to see some details. That's what you're paying for. <laughs> I love the vintage painting on the boat itself. And let me check. Yes, it does seem like the interior parts are plastic and the base is metal. It does have a bit of weight to it. Go ahead and get them snapped on. By the way, you probably noticed I'm opening up one of each casting. Not, I'm not going to open up both colors if it's the same exact because it's just a different color if I do that. So number one was from the A batch. And then I'm going to open up from the B batch. I'm going to do number two and number three. Have them roll around. Yeah, pretty good. So ages six and up. So if, if you have a if you have a collector who loves their vehicles and takes care of them, uh, this would be a fine addition to their collection. And for number three, the 2002 Chevrolet Silverado, I am opening up the B sample. I really like the 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 vegetation pattern that's on the, the vehicle. It's ac actually on the trailer as well. Don't forget, make sure you got that part there. None of mine came off, but uh, from experience with other brands and other things that I've bought, you get got to be careful not to lose that part. Your little uh, trailer stand. Again, rubber tires, detailed metal base. I forgot to show you that on this one here. The Chevrolet has a detailed metal base. Treads on the rubber tires. Does one have treads? Yeah, there you go, treads as well. I like I like the proper the, the sizing of the wheels looks very nice on this model right here. Here you have side view mirrors. No side view mirrors on this one. Uh, none on the Vista Cruiser either. So this is the only one out of the first set that has a uh, side view mirrors. Does it have opening hood? I can see a little part right there. Excuse me. There you go, opening hood, molded engine, nice details in the front of the vehicle as well. Here's a close up of the tail lights as well as Z71 4x4 and the grass pattern. This boat actually has a copyright on the base, 2001 Playing Mantis Incorporated. That was Tom's company before he sold Johnny Lightning to somebody else and now he owns Johnny Lightning again. So he has it back. So I'm not sure what uh, I don't I don't know if I have had purchased this before when it was part of the Johnny Lightning line. Oh, I didn't test the seats on the other ones. Mm, no movement. I don't want to break it in case. This one. No, that one doesn't move for sure. This one. No, I don't think that moves. This is the only one that I thought might move, but uh, I don't think it does. But it still looks good for a nice piece of die cast. Let's take a look at the trailers, by the way. 
So here was one. Uh, I would not be surprised if they're all the same, to be honest with you. There's one of them. Here's another one that I had. Looks the same. And here's the one that was still attached to the Vista Cruiser, as a matter of fact. And the trailers, yep. Trailers look like they uh, are the same. Well, I decided to be the one to bite the bullet to find out. So this way you don't have to do this, but it, this is not the movable. I twisted it, and as you can see, it's coming off right there. However, the motor is movable. This way you can, of course, uh, when you're not in the water, you lift it up, and then when you're in the water, you put it down. But with it having a metal base, I, would not, I, don't, I don't expect this to float. I'm not going to stick it in water. This one did have playing mantis on the base, so I thought I would check the other two. And sure enough, they've been released as well, and that's upside down. It's uh, Ertl, so apparently Ertl released this boat, and there you go, Ertl on this one as well. That's one of the other brands that uh, Tom picked up for the Round 2 Enterprises. I'm a big fan of these types of offerings where you have a vehicle with a, a trailer or some type of thing being hitched and towed. These are really nice, nicely detailed, nice adult collectible features. And if you have a young one who likes this stuff, who takes care of their vehicles, they will like them too. Thanks again to Round 2 for providing these for review. If you'd like to check out my Truck and Tuesday playlist, there's all of my Truck and Tuesday videos. Sometimes they'll be collectibles. Sometimes they'll be toys. In the meantime, happy collecting and have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.